Um, so to date, biggest day of strikes in the NHS's 75-year history. What are your thoughts on that this morning? Well, we're obviously very disappointed that the strike action is, is going ahead. But to, to reassure patients in England where we're responsible for health care, it is less than half of uh, the NHS trust for the nursing strike. So for most patients, they'll be unaffected if they've got appointments and procedures today. But obviously we also have the ambulance strikes on top of that, uh, which will also add uh, pressures uh, to NHS services today. So do you believe that lives will be at risk today? Well, I think it's going to be um, very difficult. Obviously, we've put in as much uh, preparation as possible, working with NHS Trust, again, to minimise disruption to patients and to make sure that for urgent and emergency care that there are uh, backup services in place. Uh, but obviously, any time there's disruption to NHS services, it does have an impact on patients, particularly uh, with ongoing strikes. So, Maria, um, you, you are a nurse yourself. You must have a lot of sympathy, though, surely, uh, with uh, fellow nurses who are staying away from work today. Absolutely. I'm an RCN member myself as well. So I, uh, you know, sit, sit in both camps, if you like. But, you know, and I've been uh, as a backbench MP, always working with the RCN when we had uh, under the Liberal Democrat coalition government, the pay cap and pay freeze. And we I worked with the RCN on that and also to reintroduce bursaries and to introduce uh, nurse apprenticeships, which we are doing now. So absolutely, I have a lot of sympathy. But we also uh, have a responsibility to the taxpayer. And, you know, we followed an independent process uh, with a pay review body that the union signed up to and were very happy with the settlement last year um, and it's difficult for us now if we are to give uh, a payable to nurses we'll have to look at teachers we'll have to look at ambulance drivers um, you know we just have to we just can't afford uh, inflation busting pay rises that the unions are currently demanding it's not like we're talking about railway drivers here you know the public support is huge for nurses for teachers and I think if you, you know you're talking about being the custodians of the, of the public purse and yet the public actually understand why they are asking for what they're asking. Well, absolutely. But my disappointment, I guess, uh, with the RCN this morning is that in Scotland they've called off the strikes because they're prepared to talk about this year's pay rise, which starts uh, from April. We are in exactly the same boat. We are very happy, and the Secretary of State has been discussing this year's pay uh, award and uh, working conditions with them, but they've called off the strikes in Scotland but not in England. So my plea to the RCN is we're you know, very happy to discuss this year's uh, pay award, and we'd, we'd really uh, value them calling off the strikes and getting back around the table. Um, today is the start of National Apprenticeship Week and we were talking to uh, an employer and an apprentice uh, 20 minutes ago on the programme and we, we, we started to reflect on how more has been asked of nurses, um, that they're, being, they're playing the role of junior doctors really, they have to have a university uh, qualification, they've got to be educated to university standard. Um, is that really necessary when surely learning on the job, being paid on the job, being an apprentice would, would be good enough? Well, I'm really pleased that you, you brought that up because we've in introduced nurse apprenticeships for a while now. So most trusts across England are offering uh, student nurses apprenticeships. So you earn and learn on the job. And as you say, that's how I did it. You know, I'm old enough that I did it through the old fashioned way. Um, and it, it does, you know, you do learn a lot, but you do need a degree. I just want to put that on, uh, on point on out there, because if you are doing nurse prescribing, if you are doing things that junior doctors used to do, you do need that um, uh, education and training, but you can do it through a degree nurse apprenticeship. So anyone who's thinking of nursing, uh, please do look out for those because we're expanding them as quickly as we can and they're extremely uh, popular. Talking of learning on the job, I want to talk to you uh, about Liz Truss. Uh, she's been complaining uh, in the national newspapers that she wasn't given a, a realistic chance of seeing her policies through, although obviously the consequences of them on mortgages, on pensions and markets was clear for all to be seen. But she's unrepentant, thinks she should have been allowed to continue uh, the course. What is your view? Well, I think, you know, as, as Grant Shapps said yesterday, I think as Conservatives, we're all uh, uh, wanting to see people keep more of the money they earn through low taxation. And if you look, when we first came into government back in 2010, we've raised the tax threshold. It was around £6,000. Now you have to be earning over 12500 before you pay tax. The same with national insurance. So where we can cut tax, we will. But the biggest enemy to every household at the moment is inflation. And whether you get a 5% pay rise or a 10% pay rise, that's completely swallowed up at the moment by inflation. And 
uh, inflation busting pay rises uh, will, will, will not fix that. So we have to get inflation down. It's one of the PM's top priorities to, to halve that, uh, just as Margaret Thatcher did when she came into uh, government. Um, and once we get inflation down, we can absolutely look at reducing tax further.